Hey y'all. For the last five years, I've been driving around in this. This has been my Cadillac. My beast. It's a 2001 Dodge Ram 1500 two-wheel drive. Um, I bought this off of a uh, off of a kid about to go off to college uh, back in 2013. And this truck's been really good to me. I've upgraded the engine a little bit. I've done some work in the back. I mean, I, I've upgraded almost everything on this. I've dumped a lot of money in this truck. Including the, the sound system, dashboard sucks. But, you know, everything is has its, has its time. Uh, the reason why there's a red hood is because... Somebody who was driving a Ford Excursion decided to slam on their brakes in front of me with no brake lights and I slid into the back of them at 45 miles an hour. And I had like five car links. But out of, as a result of, of that, well, they, uh, they kind of sort of didn't have insurance and, and I did. My insurance company went after them and forced them to cut me a settlement of $5,300, which is fantastic. I was not expecting that at all. So, I've decided to park this beast. She's been good to me for the past five years. But now, I have upgraded and found my new ride. This is a 2007 Dodge Ram 1500. I'm not sure what series. It's got the 5.7 with the Hemi. Beautiful truck. I mean, alloy rims. I bought these tires for a discount tire for 970, no, $37. Um, I mean, I, this is the only damage that you see on the side of the truck. It looked like. They went through a drive through and the arm fell over and it just drug along the side of the damn truck, which I don't understand that, but it's okay. Other than that, the rest of the truck is immaculate. Uh, to, I found this truck on OfferUp for uh, for 7000 They were asking for it. Power everything, by the way. Yeah, it's got my gear in the back. But I was able to talk them down to five thousand five hundred dollars and you know what that is a really awesome deal considering the settlement that i got yeah it was fantastic absolutely fantastic but that's that's just part of it let's see what's under the hood all right so let's see what's under the hood here Now, this is the 5.7 I've been looking for. I mean, it's it looks fairly bone stock. Um, it, it does need, uh, I guess, in my opinion, a little bit of work. But I will be changing out these coil packs to MSD uh, ignition. Uh, this this ram air intake, I'm getting rid of that garbage. I don't know why they put it on there, but... You know, if they think it makes it run better, then, you know, so be it. Fine. But not by my standards. Um, but the best part about this truck, which I like, aside of the fact that I paid straight up cash for it. Uh, yeah, I paid straight up cash for this. Is it's chipped. <laughs> truck's got a power programmer in it and man does this sucker fly runs smooth very clean interior it I bought it when it had a uh, hundred and seventy two thousand three hundred miles on it on it or something like that uh, since then I have been driving I I'm very impressed with how they've taken care of the interior but uh, some of these little projects in here, I plan on changing out the radio. I know it's Alpine. I know Alpine's a really good brand. But I plan on getting uh, one of the newer Alpines. 
Uh, hopefully, I think I'm going to keep um, a single DIN radio. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a double DIN, but um, i got some little projects i got to take care of, like the, the overhead uh, lens, that button broke and the lens fell out. As you can tell, everything has been upgraded. That's, you know, LED lights, um, both the dome and the over uh, the nav dome. Um, the headlights themselves, I bought... I bought some LED headlights for them, but unfortunately, I have already tried to check and see if the lights will fit, and they do not because the the bulb that's in here, the fixture itself is only designed for HIDs, only HIDs or your standard halogen lights, and that is not what I want. I want LED. I'm picking. This is probably one of the one of the trucks I absolutely wanted, and and I am so happy that it's mine. I got it, and and I'm just I would say this is the truck of my dreams, but it's just it's a, one of my many dream trucks. I've always loved this body design. I like how the doors open wide. Uh, I prefer to have a mega cab, but you know beggars can't be choosers. You know it's yeah. But under here, I've already started doing some upgrades. Yeah, this will be in a uh, in a future video. This is going to be my project uh, over this weekend. It's a Memorial Day weekend, so I've got plenty of time on my hands. Um, I've already got my my subs. They came in the mail a couple days ago. I got my wiring kit, so that's going to be a little bit of my project for today. But uh, for the most part, this is exactly what I wanted. And uh, I will be making other videos about this truck and its projects. Uh, I'm going to be changing the, uh, the fog lights. The, those are going to turn into LED. Um, I've already bought the headlight fixtures, so I'm going to show you how to change those and convert those. I'm, I'm probably going to end up selling those. I mean, they, they still work. Everything's fine on them. I just don't like them. I just, I just don't like them. Um, I'm going to put the uh, about a 42-inch LED off-road light bar uh, right here in the grill. Um, I've been told, you know, put the one up here on the top uh, across the uh, the windshield. And I don't like that. Uh, not to mention, uh, you see how I had this light bar over here mounted on top of the truck? Okay, well, whenever I go into parking garages, believe it or not, this is, I get about this much more clearance, about three or four more inches of clearance in parking garages. But with this, this truck stands much taller. I mean, the suspension's taller, the ground clearance is higher. And there is no way on earth I'm going to be able to squeeze into a parking garage if I put uh, <laughs> if I put uh, a light on the back of this truck. So I've already made my mind up. I'm going to take the light bar, put it down here on the bottom. I'm probably going to put uh, some green or something behind the grill, showing underneath the grill or in the grill. Um, I will be making upgrades on the engine. I will make videos on that. <sighs> but uh, let's see here. Oh, also, uh, I'm going to try to get um, the flush mount off-road back, uh, off-road off lights, LED lights, but mounted in the bumper so I can um, so I can see where I'm going backing up because these don't put out enough. I will be changing these lenses here as well. I don't like these. Whoever, the person who had it before me, they, they sprayed the, the fog stuff on them. And that to me is, it looks like garbage. I really don't like it. I really don't like it. Uh, I like the Dodge ones where they're, they're actually smooth all the way around instead of this bulge that sticks out. I like it it's smooth with the rest of the, the curvature of the truck. But that is just sexy. I mean, just look at that. Man. Let's 
close the tailgate. The bed liner in here, I know it looks kind of rough, but I plan on changing it and getting a whole new bed liner, uh, spray on bed liner. So and this is going to be one heck of a project. I'm not worried about it right now. But the tailgate is perfect. The tailgate is perfect. Except for that. I am not a sports fan whenever it comes to automotive. I just don't like putting decals and stuff on, on vehicles. I'm not even a big bumper sticker fan. I really don't like bumper stickers. Maybe a window sticker because I had a couple of them on my other truck. I had a Dodge emblem and the other one said if you can't dodge it, ram it. But anyway, this is uh, this is my new project. This is my new beast, and she is fast. Oh man, is she fast! I am so happy with this truck. Uh, so along with my torque monster project SV Resurrection, I will be adding videos on my own personal truck, my new truck, my baby. Uh, if y'all can, uh, I like naming vehicles, and she does not have a name yet. So, if y'all can, give me some ideas of, uh, of what's a namer. Uh, for some reason, I just, uh, when I'm near this truck, I just feel the name of Chloe. For some reason, Chloe just seems to stick out. I don't know why, but give me some names. Because, uh, you know, it's bad luck not to name your vehicle. So now that you guys know that now I have a new set of wheels. I'm no longer driving, you know, the old Dodge. I am driving a 2007 Dodge Ram 1500 with a 5.7 Hemi. And man, I love this truck. This is a great truck. So you can bet yourself that I'm going to be making some more videos, not just about the SV650, but I will be making them about this truck as well. Uh, future projects, things I'm going to upgrade about this truck. I mean, it's not like I need to upgrade much on it. It's already a really good truck, but I'm going to be changing some stuff on it. So, um, like, share, hit that subscribe button, and uh, thanks for watching, y'all. Y'all have a good day. Sucker's got a super chip. Oh, man. Oh, it's so fast. <laughs> I'm going to get my eyes in trouble with this thing.